Hello and welcome, I'm Levi the Garage Movie Guy and today we're not going to be talking about movies. I had intended to have a movie review come out before Christmas. I did have one come out which was a review of the Netflix movie The Christmas Chronicles. Check that out if you haven't. I think it's still kind of fun even if Christmas has passed. So I thought to sort of ease back into making videos I would do another unboxing and in one of my previous unboxing videos I opened up the Disney Afternoon Funko action figures and mentioned that that I got almost a dozen, 11, of these Disney Funko Mystery Minis. There are figures in here from DuckTales, Tailspin, and Chippendales Rescue Rangers. Let's see what our very first Disney Afternoon Funko Mystery Mini is. I love these boxes, by the way. They have such a nice feel to them, the, the material they're made out of. I will probably keep at least a few of these just to see um, the artwork or how nice the boxes were that they came in. So first off, oh, we have, I believe his name is Kit. He was the little dude in Tailspin. Tailspin, all these, all three of these, uh, actually there's four, there's Darkwing Duck as well. All four of these I, I watched a lot. Probably my favorites were Chippendale Rescue Rangers and DuckTales, well, and Darkwing Duck. <laughs> it's hard to choose a favorite, but uh, definitely a fun little figure to have. He's got a nice detail with his little hair coming out of his hat. That was kind of an uh, 80s, 90s thing to have the backwards hat with your puff of hair coming out. I used to be able to do that, but I don't, I don't have hair anymore. Holding his little uh, crescent roll hoverboard, whatever you want to call it. There we go. We've got him. Let's sit him there so he can watch us open the second. Here we go. This one feels like it could be a little bit bigger. Uh, the ones I'm really wanting, by the way, I would really like Darkwing Duck and Chip and Dale. I think those are the ones that uh, I definitely want from this set, as well as Baloo. But if I could choose any, it would probably be Darkwing Duck and Chip and Dale. So let's see, hopefully we'll get at least Chip and Dale. They're some of the less rare, they're one in six. So uh, by the way, Kit is one in 12. So not really one of the rare ones. Oh, I see some duck feet. Oh, little Webby darling. She's so cute. She's one in 24 as our Huey, Dewey, and Louie. So this is one of the more rare uh, figures. Besides Baloo and the other members of Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, Webby is one of the more rare ones and she's super cute. I might have to give this one to my daughter. I think she would like that one. Webby has a little bit of a problem standing up. I'm gonna see if I can sort of coax her feet forward so that she's not falling. I'm just sort of throwing my trash on the ground. I'll have to pick that up later. Some of these boxes, uh, the adhesive came off, which I think is kind of cool. I don't have to worry about possibly tearing the box. As I said before, I'm gonna keep at least a few of these boxes. I might keep all of them for a little while. Just, just to have a little display case with a bunch of empty boxes. <gasps> Launchpad McQuack, oh my gosh. Now, Launchpad is probably in the second tier of characters I really wanted, and um, I'm glad that I got him. He was, of course, in DuckTales and uh, Darkwing Duck, so he was a character that went through both of those worlds, and he is a much-loved, but, uh, poorly skilled pilot. <laughs> uh, he also has the tuft of hair coming out. Kind of a trend. He stands up quite nicely though. Let's go for number four. Do -do 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 -do. There we go, another black bag here. Pierce it with my, yeah, Webby. Um, I don't think Webby's gonna stand up. Ooh, this is another big one. <gasps> Uncle Scrooge, look at that, oh my gosh. We've got a lot of the DuckTales crew here. There are a lot of DuckTales in here. These are some of the characters that I would have preferred to get if uh, I chose which DuckTales characters to get, so I'm quite excited for that. Uncle Scrooge doesn't stand up, but he falls backwards. Um, Uncle Scrooge and Webby are going to be back here where you can't see them. All right, let's go for number five. Cinco, hopefully this will be, I'm gonna say this one is, the wrapping is a little different. It's a little uh, tougher. So maybe this is one of the more rare figures. Maybe this is possibly uh, Monty or Blue. Let's, let's hope it's one of those two. Go, tear it out there. This is another small one. This is Huey, Dewey, or Louie, I think from the feel of it. 
Yes, it is uh, Louie. I'm sorry, I don't remember their names at the moment. <laughs> He's the blue guy. Pretty sure it's Louie. Here's the stand test. He stands perfectly fine. And let's jump right into number six. And here, Louie and Louie are uh, one in 24. So they are some of the more common characters. That would be really cool to get all of the triplets. This feels like, uh, I don't know what this feels like. Maybe another kit? <gasps> no, it's Dale. Oh my gosh, look at Dale and his... Oh, you can't see him. It's Dale. I'm so excited. He's one of the ones that I definitely wanted in this set. Have a little Chip and Dale to go with my bigger Chip and Dale. He's got his little Hawaiian shirt there, kind of fluffing up his collar. Very cool. Let's see how he stands. He's got kind of small feet, but he stands very, very well. Uh, maybe he'll, he'll stand over here. All right, on to number seven, I believe. These are going by very quickly. We're over the halfway point. All right, let's see who we got here. This feels like... I'm not quite sure who this feels like. So maybe some some whiskers or something. Oh, it's another Dale! Cute! So I got two Dales. That's nifty. I'm a big fan of Dale, so um whoa! Almost dropped him. Here we go for number eight. Three more left. And then the fun's gone. Actually it's not gone. We just uh the opening's done. But the fun is still here because we got these nice little figures. This one has a broad hat, so is this? Oh my gosh, it's Chip. I have my Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. <laughs> Honestly, as much as I would love a Darkwing Duck, this is what I wanted from the set. So this is worth buying this entire box. Chip and Dale right there together. They can be back here and let's go for number nine. Now that we're nearing the end, I really want a blue. The Darkwing Duck is 1 in 12, so it's not as rare. The blue is 1 in 36. Um, so I don't know that I'm going to be getting a blue, uh, which kind of makes me sad, but uh, let's see who we got here. This one has uh, it's a tall one, maybe, with uh, long legs. I don't know. I can't really tell. <gasps> oh, this is... Oh, how embarrassing. I don't know why I've forgotten her name. She's a Darkwing Duck, the little sidekick that he has. She stands up quite well. Um, sorry, I forgot your name. I'm, I'm, I'm just having a blank right now. I apologize. I'm sure you're screaming it out right now. Comment below if you know her name and you're screaming it at your phone or television or computer screen right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> This one has another broad hat. Is this another Dale? Am I going to have two Chips and Dales? It is another Chip. These uh, mystery minis are really cool, but uh, like some of the other Funko Pops I've gotten, sometimes the quality control is a little bit lacking. And uh, once again, I got these on clearance for really cheap, so I'm, I'm not complaining here at all. But there are some uh, problems around the seams and, and paint bleeding, so um, I think these two over here have a little bit better paint job, so they're going to stay on my shelf. And for the last one, the Crown Jewel, and let's see see who we're gonna get. I feel a really broad hat. Oh, I got so excited I knocked down Launchpad because I feel a hat brim and it's not this hat brim. It's a much wider hat brim. Oh, is it gonna be who I think it is? Yes! When there's trouble, you call DW, Darkwing Duck. Now we can get dangerous. This will be really cool to display along with Launchpad. I could display them next to my... Oh, I'm knocking all these guys over. Uh, I could display him next to my Batman figures. I think that would be appropriate. Oh, I'm quite happy with this haul. Let me clean off some of this junk. So there you have it. Here's all the figures I got from the Disney Afternoon Mystery Minis. 11 figures. Of course, I am i didn't put the uh, duplicates of Chip and Dale up there. I didn't really have room on this little display I created. But to go over them again, we have Launchpad McQuack. He was from DuckTales and Darkwing Duck. Next to him, we have Darkwing Duck. I'm really glad I got him. And of course, Uncle Scrooge. I did look into it. This is not Louie. This is Dewey. I got the green and the blue mixed up. I remember this young lady's name as I was putting these characters up. Her name is Gosalyn Mallard, and she is the adopted daughter of Darkwing Duck. And we have Kit Cloudkicker from Tailspin. I looked it up, and his little crescent roll-shaped cloud surfing device is called an airfoil and we've got webby and chip and dale of course i got duplicates of chip and dale and there you have it 
I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of these Disney Afternoon Funko Mystery Minis. Please, if you like the video, leave a like below. If you want to see more unboxings, I have a playlist in the description. Also, if you want to see more cool content like this, please subscribe. I've noticed that my subscriber numbers have been growing a lot lately and I appreciate all the new viewers I have. I hope you jumped into this video and you enjoyed watching it and you can leave a comment down below which is your favorite figure. But until next time, I'm Levi the Garage movie guy saying let's get dangerous if you're hearing this then the time lapse did not work I remembered her name Goslin Mallard that's not gonna work